We give you the one person who could play Victor Von Doom. So Marvel made a huge announcement at Big San Diego Comic Con. Big time and announcement. Obviously, out of pure desperation to bring the fans back after the countless flops they've had over the last handful of years, they are bringing back Robert Downey Jr. to play Victor Von Doom. You know, uh, that isn't exactly what I would have expected from Marvel, but also no. after their last couple of movies, exactly what I would expect from Marvel. Don't get me wrong. I love Robert Downey Jr. just as much as the next guy. But so Disney is going to bring back the most iconic actor playing the most iconic character from the MCU to play the most iconic Marvel villain. See, it kind of hurts my brain just thinking about it and saying it out loud right there. Not a great plan. So they also announced that they uh, retitled Avengers 5. It's now called Avengers Doomsday for obvious reasons. I think the normies are going to go nuts for this shit. They're going to love oh. it no matter what. 100% eating it all up just from watching the, the videos from uh, the panel room. Everybody literally shit their pants, which understandably, yeah, it's, it's yeah, a yeah. huge surprise. So that part I get. It doesn't necessarily make sense from a movie making perspective because the movies haven't been doing great already. And now you're already going to bring back your highest paid actor. What was he at? Like oh, only four million for the last dude, Avengers movie. I could only in? imagine the fucking dump truck beep, of cash beep, that they backed beep, up in his driveway. <laughs> <laughs> it's super desperate and convoluted, in my opinion. And you're gonna hear them all going, "No, no, no! He was Doctor Doom was Iron Man in the comics." Shut the fuck up, man! Fucking mouth breathing, window licking assholes. If you read the fucking comic infamous iron man which i own victor becomes iron man not tony becoming dr doom it's fucking stupid it's, fucking it's stupid of course it's fucking stupid and they're gonna do some dumbass thing where they end up making victor become iron man and it's actually tony from like another multiverse but it's gonna be tony but not our tony but it still looks like tony because of the stupid fucking multiverse shit which i'm fucking tired of to begin with it's tired and fucking lame it's played out stop with the time traveling shit stop with the multiverse multiverse shit i'm fucking sick of it dude my bad hey. i'm sorry but continue they only did that so that at some point, since Tom Holland is still Spider-Man for a few more movies, now they can have Spider-Man unmask Doctor Doom at one point and be like, oh, Mr. Stark? Mr. Stark? Mr. Stark? It's honestly too many questions. I'm sure we'll get some dumb multiverse answers and some bullshit time travel explanation type thing. It makes the characters have no levity, and it just takes away the weight, and it makes consequences completely fucking pointless in the mcu universe because if you die you can come back if if leo dies here we'll just bring back a leo from fucking earth 240 and it'll look just like you but maybe it'll be a little uh more cranky or something or uh, your 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 fucking favorite color will, will be blue oh, instead no, of red it's leo from another multiverse he doesn't oh my god ah! is that my friend leo where'd you go where'd he go back home <laughs> while deadpool wolverine right now is raking in the fucking money, it's fucking killing it at the box office. In my opinion, this still doesn't fix the immediate future anyway of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You have Agatha as the next project, Blade, which is in production hell. You have Ironheart, which is coming out. You have Captain Black Falcon America Man, which already has crossed $400 million. They needed desperately to build excitement with this franchise, and this obviously does it because the window lickers, like I said, are all fucking, oh, Mama Downey's back. Oh, the MCU saved. Shut the fuck up, man. Let's actually um, see if it does do anything. And don't get me wrong. Again, bringing back the Russo brothers. Great choice. Great idea. My personal top three MCU movies all by them. Winter Soldier by far is my my number one. Civil War is right up there. Infinity War is right up there. Thought Endgame was kind of bloated. They had a lot uh, to play in there. It all, you also had, you know, years and years of, of like storylines to, to pay off. So I kind of get it. I have more faith in them than I've had in any director from the last five years. Notice how I can't fucking name one because no one's made anything of substance. A lot of the the newer stuff I feel is going to hit a bit of a wall with fans because yeah. like while I'm looking forward to seeing uh, Thunderbolt Ross turn into Red Hulk, 
can't wait for that. Oh, but... I, I forgot about Thunderbolts too. Thunderbolts is coming out. No one gives a fuck about that. I'm interested to see what they do with uh, the John Walker. But character. do you see that movie needing a two hundred million dollar budget? No. No. You make that movie for a hundred million dollars, and you hope you make three hundred, and you make back your investment with some profit. That movie yeah. now it needs to make over like six hundred million dollars just to break even. And sorry, Thunderbolts is not going to do that. But Disney has money to burn, obviously, and for some reason they're the only company I could think of that does not give a fuck about losing money and not making a profit. But Wolverine and Deadpool is killing it right now, and maybe in the distant future, after they get past all the terrible projects that we just spoke about. Prove me wrong, Disney. Please. Prove me wrong. Make this movie and make it fucking awesome. Make Victor Von Stark fucking amazing. And, you know, make it make it good again, man, because I'm I don't I'm so over the MCU, dude. I, I realized that after we watched Deadpool Wolverine that like I wanted to like it. Like the l- couple of months going into it, I'm like, I, okay, I really want to like this movie. I really want to like this movie. But I think I'm so over it and Disney as a company and their practices piss me off so goddamn much that it just sours everything. Please turn it around and hopefully this is the, the first step in the right direction. This new phase kind of needs to amp itself up a little bit. I don't want to say that I'm completely disappointed in the last, I guess, whatever phase this was of Marvel. They have a lot to try to redo and kind of top themselves with. And thus far, I yet to be too impressed. So let's see what happens. I'm telling you, if if Fantastic Four fails and this fails, they need to just pull out the fucking shotgun. Pull the trigger and just put it dormant for like five years and recast everyone and start anew. But that's another discussion for another time. So let us know what you guys think down below. Thank you guys for hanging out for a little bit, checking out the video. Like, share, comment, and subscribe, all that good stuff. And from Leo and myself, till the next time, guys, later. See ya.